There's a lot of things coming that are changing here in Celebration, the town that Disney built. From Island Village, which we're going to take you back and show you some of the models today, some of the things we just don't know what's going to happen, like what's going on with the theater. I'm going to take you around town today and show you what I know that's coming, what some changes I'm seeing, and give you some information you maybe don't know about. Stay tuned. So finally, Island Village is opening up here in Celebration. They've been working out their VIP list for the past few months, and then they're still not working, honestly, with realtors. And so a lot of my clients end up calling me for free advice. And honestly, at this point, I want you guys to have the best opportunity for the best place. Island Village is gonna be great for some people, but it's not for everybody. So today, I'm gonna take you back here, show you some of their model homes, show you kind of the layout of what's back here, and uh, yeah, hopefully show you something you haven't seen yet. Check out this bridge, this looked, turned out really nice. So we're finally in Island Village. This is like so long awaited. My first video on Island Village was like three years ago. But come take a look at this. This is actually gonna be the first phase of Island Village. And this is kind of as you come in, they've got the model homes right here, which is where we're at right now. These are gonna be some apartments with some light retail down here. It sounded like 20, 30,000 square feet. Got the amenity center, which check this out. That's what the amenity center looks like. So very similar actually architecture to what current downtown celebration looks like. I love the kind of farmhouse style that they've got here. But let's take a look at actually some of the models. I'll tell you about some sizes and pricing, and we'll go from there. So they have a full line of houses back here. And if you've seen some of the David Weekly houses over in Spring Lake, these actually have a very similar quality, in my opinion, just updated finishes. You've got a wide range of houses. You've got the townhomes, you've got 1,600 square foot single family homes starting in like the mid fives, all the way up to what we're gonna see right here is a 3,200 square foot house, somewhere in the, like the low eights. Most of what they're doing here in Island Village is gonna be more spec. So you're not getting to pick all of your finishes, your lots, your layouts, because of the whole supply chain issue, like the windows, the lumber, all that kind of stuff. They're just finishing it out. Once they get closer to completion, they're releasing those out to their list and going from there. One main difference you're gonna find back here in Island Village is just sort of the different styles of homes that you don't see in the main village area. So you've got these wide open spaces. Obviously, a lot of the finishes are gonna be completely newer. So yes, you're on the high end of the spectrum, price per square foot, but newer windows, newer energy code, all of those sort of things are gonna make this feel like a great trade-off for the location. Outdoor living space is a must in Florida. Look at this outdoor space, this is insane. This rolls all the way back, lots of covered space, but very similar to like Spring Lake, you don't have a ton of yard, right? So these are zero lot lines, the houses are right there. Um, but the trade-off again, new construction, you do have the new town, just kind of what you're more comfortable with. That's really what it comes down to. So that's Island Village. Here's some things I like about it. The finishes are amazing, tall ceilings, unique, right? But they also kept the character of downtown celebration, which when you're driving through, a lot of the, ex a lot of the elevations are perfect where they should be. Um, really the only thing not to like about Island Village is, is really the distance from the main town center, right? So it's 14 minute drive from right where I'm at, at the entrance of Island Village, uh, down to Starbucks on Bloom Street. And so if location's important to you, maybe what we're gonna show you next is something you should consider. All 
All right, so just down Celebration Boulevard, almost to World Drive, actually sitting on World Drive and Celebration Boulevard, right down the street from the high school. They've got Celebration Point going in right here. So this is actually getting built out by Unicorp. Originally, there's gonna be a Dave and Buster's here, which I think the people of Celebration were like, please don't, because even though Celebration's the town built by Disney and there's a lot of tourists here, you're kind of in your own little bubble. And so over there now, it's gonna be a Publix, it sounds like, Walgreens, a pub, a Pilates studio, Domino's Pizza, an Avent Health Urgent Care, just kind of like normal stuff you would need in Celebration, which is good because right now, to get to what you need on a day-to-day -day basis in Celebration, you gotta go over to 192, which can be super nice, but it can be very touristy as well. And so this is gonna give a good option for people that live in Celebration not to have to go into the tourist area. So another little update coming to Celebration is the old Stetson University, which they moved out of Celebration. Now there's a new plastic surgeon that wants to create a new school of, like, I guess, plastic surgery right here in downtown Celebration. So they're going through the process right now. There's all these new news articles about it. So it's interesting because old Celebration, old Celebration, which this place is still only 25 years old, but um, you're seeing a lot of things start to change over from the housing to the retail. It's having a bit of a resurgence uh, with demand and a lot of money coming here, which I think is a cool thing uh, for the town of Celebration. If the new construction portion of Island Village isn't something that you're after, a lot of our buyers are coming back over to the main parts of Celebration. And for years, there wasn't a lot of like remodeled houses. And so like it got stuck in that, that 20 years old sort of thing where it needed windows, roofs, AC, kitchen, baths, flooring, and people just were kind of turned off by the remodeling. But now you're starting to see a ton of houses in Celebration start to turn over. People are either flipping them or just people have now invested in them over the past four or five years to where you're starting to see prices take off and a lot of great inventory of homes that have a lot of character, these beautiful older trees closer to town. That's what you're after, Celebration has that for you. So whether you're looking for new construction or you want the old time charm of Celebration, there's really something for you. The events, everything going on here at Celebration is a really cool place to live. And so if you're looking to buy or sell a house here in Celebration, I'd love to be your real estate resource of choice. Make sure you email me at ken at posigroup.com. And then before you leave, hit that subscribe button as we're putting on new videos every single week about life here in Orlando. We'll see you guys on the next video.